Greetings fellow tank commanders, in this video I'm going to be showing you a game that I played in the Iron Rain. This is a tier 8 German premium tank destroyer with regular matchmaking. The game I'm playing is an encounter battle on Abbey with tier 8 as the top tier and 2 artillery on each team. For this game my tank is equipped with a camouflage net, binoculars, and an enhanced gun laying drive. I am using a German crew which has 7 crew skills and perks. And I am platooned up with Cowboy Arizona who is in a Hawk 12. Right off the start, Cowboy Arizona takes a tumble, so I made sure to give him a great shot message. My plan here is just to overwatch the encounter base, and fortunately there's a sacrificial light tank to offer me some early game damage. Just short on my reload there to be able to shoot the light tank up in the abbey. Unfortunately the enemy managed to take out Cowboy Arizona with a little help from a teammate. It took me a little bit of time to find the right angle for these shots, but it turned out to be worth it for a successful clip. There's a VK100.01P moving through the center of the map, so that's going to be my primary target for the next clip. I had trouble finding the gun depression and there's a house in my way. I did not plan out my positioning as well as I should have. It's always good to remember that with tanks like this you have that long reload time, so be sure that you're in position and ready to fire when you're loaded. Another successful clip there, and fortunately I only took one shot. I was expecting a lot worse considering that I wasn't in position at the time of my reload. Now I've got a flanking Primo Victoria. I still have enough hit points to win a head-on engagement with him as long as I don't get rammed. Fortunately, he didn't get a head-on ram, otherwise I don't think I would have survived that. Oh no, that is a terrible position to ammo rack an enemy. Getting crushed by a turret is not what I have in mind for a glorious death. With no hit points left to spare here, I was being extra cautious, especially since my team has a disadvantage. I was really hoping that my remaining teammate, who's still on full hit points, would have moved forward and caused a direct distraction for the enemy, but it looks like I'm going to have to handle it myself. Once I saw that my teammate destroyed the medium, I decided to reload to engage the remaining enemies on a full clip. Cowboy Arizona was letting me know that he saw a shell come in towards my teammate from about F3, so since my team has the advantage, I was looking to either spot him out or catch him streaking. Wow, talk about bad timing there. At least I know where the enemy is going though. I had a hard time deciding what to do here. I don't have the hit points to put on a proper offensive here, so I was waiting and hoping to catch the fatherland out in the open as he went to protect the base. But surprisingly, he never came in. And once I figured that my teammate had captured enough of the base already, I went hunting for some late game kills. 
I'm using a premium tank, so I'm not too concerned if this blew up in my face and I ended up losing the battle. Well, that worked out better than I imagined. Now let's check the post-game stats and see how I did. For this game, I earned 217,000 silver with two 25% multipliers and earned 9,944 experience with two two times multipliers, a 25% multiplier and 250 from an op. In this game, I dealt 4,992 damage and destroyed eight enemies. This earned me High Caliber, a Mastery Badge First Class, Top Gun, Devastator, and Bradley Walters, and also a Reaper Ribbon for destroying four enemies with consecutive shells. I placed at the top of my team, earning a base XP of 1,929. I managed to hit 13 of my 15 shots and penetrate all of those. In terms of crew and module damage, I destroyed the ammo rack in the Primo Victoria and damaged the ammo rack in one of the Tiger 1s. Well that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing that game with the Iron Ring. Opportunities just kept presenting themselves there, and with this autoloader I was able to take full advantage of them. And once again we saw with the Primo Victoria how dangerous it can be to engage this tank at close range. Stay tuned for more awesome World of Tanks videos.